Yeah, well, it's been in my family for generations on my father's side. Uh, literally 50% of all the uh, uh, close relatives uh, displayed FSHD. It's a 50% inheritance ratio on the type of FSHD1, which is what I have. There's also an FSHD2. There's infantile FSHD. They all manifest the same muscle group uh, uh, problems, but to different uh, degrees at different times in life. Um, in, in my case, my, my, as I said, my grandmother had it, my father had it. My father was very, very severe. He was uh, wheelchair bound in his 40s and he died from secondary uh, uh, complications in his early 50s. So when I was 17, uh, I was bowling with some friends. I was a very active teenager. And I woke up the next day after throwing the ball and my shoulder, my right shoulder completely dislocated and dropped because there's no scapular uh, uh, rhomboid muscles to, to hold support the scapular. And it never really went back in place. That was really my first major uh, indication. I went when I was 28 to a neurological, uh, to Long Island Jewish Hospital, as a matter of fact, to a ne neurologist who took a look at me and empirically, because in those days they did not have a, a, a gene uh, diagnostics. They did EMG, which is a, a needle in the muscle to uh, measure uh, 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 electrical waves and empirically and said, you've got FSHD. And it's kind of ironic because I said to him, well, is it possible that it could be something else and we're just misdiagnosing it because of the obvious? And his answer to me was, I think now that I look at it, prophetic. His answer was, well, you don't look for a zebra in the desert because there aren't any. And why I find that prophetic is because fast forward today, 40 years later, and the rare disease days symbol is the zebra. Little did he know at that time how prophetic that was.